sponge there between the legs. I'm just going to rub that right over. Oh, You're not a raccoon, are you? No, guilty as charged. I'm a possum. Isn't it an old possum? Do I look Irish to you? I'm worth more dead than alive. I wasn't going to say it, but by a long shot. Oh. The sketch comedy show Middle Rage will be making a couple stops in the Hamilton and Halton area. Joining us now, the creators and stars of the show, Jerry Hall and Gary Pearson. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Good Hi. So most people watching this are definitely familiar with Middle Age and probably Rage as well. But as far as Middle Rage goes, tell me a bit about the show. Sure. Uh, Middle Rage is a two-person sketch comedy show all about the ridiculous indignities of life as you get a little bit older. So the show covers things like marriage, mortgages, child rearing, getting your kids out of their diapers, getting your aging parents into their diapers, all the while trying to keep it spicy in the bedroom somehow. Yippee! <laughs> So whose brainchild was it and how did the show come about? It came from both of us, actually. Jerry and I are good friends and we were talking about the situations we're in in our <laughs> middle age. And uh, we've seen a lot of comedy and we've been to a lot of comedy. And a lot of it, it as funny as it is, is done by young people about young people. And we thought, well, we're not quite that young anymore. Why don't we do a show that reflects what's going on in our lives now? And that's how it came about. And we're finding that the thing that people say the most about the show, aside from being hilarious, is that it's very relatable. We're, we're just reflecting their lives back at them through like a funhouse twisted mirror. Yes. <laughs> process work for the two of you? I mean, Second City is very well known for doing improv and then turning that improv into actual scenes. For the two of you, though, was it a matter of pulling from your own life and just going back and forth? Or was it a lot of improv that then got turned into sketch? Well, uh, Gary and I actually come from Second City backgrounds. So um, we did make the show to an extent a lot like a Second City review in the sense that uh, we might talk about a nugget of something. It's like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if, or ah, this one time my husband and I fought about this thing. And then we would sort of verbally back and forth it, jot ideas down. So we were improvising, but lazily from my couch, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, we, also, we also just took ideas and ran with them and wrote them and then came back together and talked about what we had written. And we put stuff up on stage at a little club in Oakville called the Moonshine and just tried stuff out there like a sketch or two at a time. And yeah, that helped develop it. The very first sketch, though, that was ever written for this show, I actually shared with Gary a very real story of uh, just after I'd had twins, the babies were about two years old and I hadn't left the house for two years. So I told my husband, we're going to go on a date night. We deserve a date night. We are going out and this is going to be awesome. By the time he got home from work, I had decided that we couldn't leave the house with babies in it because we didn't have a will. So if we both got in the car and left together and something happened, so surprise, date night was me making him fill out our will kit. And 30 minutes into it, we were crying. We were fighting over custody of children going to his cousin or my sister-in-law. We were a little bit drunk. It was a mess. And Gary just listened in horror, went home, and sent me the sketch the next morning called Will Kit that was all about my real life trauma. <laughs> yeah, see, she, she a little too close to it to see how funny it was. But when she told me, all I could do was laugh. So <laughs> I just wrote it up. And then, you know, we backed and forth it a few times. And But it was you know, literally on reading that sketch. I think we both had that light bulb go off of there is such a, a vein here yeah. to really dig into that's just not being it's not being worked at enough. Yeah. So many sketch shows are written for really young audiences. And this is the sketch show for the rest of us. Yeah, that's right. And we also find that the people who go to these really nice theaters that we're fortunate enough to play in, 
um, they tend to be middle aged. They usually they're usually over thirty that come to the shows. Although young people have come to the show and really laughed a lot because it's like we're making fun of their parents, and they really <laughs> enjoy that too. <laughs> So oh, you don't have to be 40 to enjoy the show. You can enjoy it at any age over 17 or so. That's right. And I shall place the mighty clitoris right here. Oh. Where is it? <laughs> Both of you have a lot of TV experience, both on camera and behind the scenes as well. You know, This Hour is 22 Minutes, Mad TV, among a long, long list of credits. What's so special, though, about getting back to doing a live show? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I think I can answer for Gary. He will chime in. There is such magic to performing comedy live. When you're funny on a film or a TV set, you are literally performing in a vacuum of silence. <laughs> and you think, I'm giving my best stuff here. I hope this is funny. And you don't really get a sense of how it's going over until the director yells cut and one camera guy sort of loses it and makes a funny sound. But doing comedy live, that instantaneous rush of a joke that hits well and just a wall of laughter hitting your chest, it's an absolute high and a pleasure to share an evening with real people. Yeah, it's also a special education when a, when a joke falls flat. <laughs> then you learn. <laughs> you don't learn that on a, on a set. For but a we film. took all those out. They're it's all gone. Wall to wall we've laughter worked, now. We've worked those all out. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm sitting here laughing right now. I literally filled out a will kit this past weekend, so it's already hit home with me. That is insane that you brought up that example. Uh, it's Hamilton, it's Oakville, up in Fergus as well. Uh, people can watch this there and then go see you guys live. Thanks so much for taking time out today. I really appreciate it. Thank you Great for having you. us. Thank you. Come see the show, Halton. You will laugh. <laughs> what just happened, Gary? <laughs> I uh, <laughs> prematurely fired my photon from Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>